the sun is out it's spring break suddenly i'm in the best mood imaginable just kidding i've been sick the last few days and i'm finally feeling up to doing things today and i kind of want to rearrange my bookshelf so that's what i think we're gonna do it's kind of a mess it's organized by colors but i've gotten so many new books that it's kind of all over the place let me just show you this is what we're tackling this like series shelf right here is the worst so i don't know what i'm gonna do but we're gonna figure it out I'm trying to decide how I want to organize my books. I've always had them color coded and it becomes a problem when I buy new books and then I don't know where to put them. And then also series, I'm like, I don't want to split my series up. So I think I might organize my author. I know I want like my top row to be my faves. So like Addicted Calloway Sisters and then like Magnolia Parks, like all my faves. But I need to figure out how I want to do this. And my bed is filled with books. So we got our work cut out for us. My problem is I want my shelf to look practical and cute, but I have too many books for that. Like right now, I have everything on the shelf that I want it to look like, but I have this many books left. So I'm not sure what to do, but like this shelf right here, so satisfying. But I think I might take a break and go to Barnes because there's a new Lynn Painter release and I need to get the new Addicted Calloway Sisters book because it's the last one that I don't have. So we're going to take a break and we're going to Barnes. Okay, I'm back home now. I made a chai latte to continue cleaning my bookshelf. I also bought three books. There are two that I plan on getting before and then one that I saw while I was there. So I got Happily Never After. It's so thin. I could finish this in one night. But this is Lynn Painter's new release and she's an automatic buy author for me. So, and then I got Some Kind of Perfect, which is the last book that I needed in the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. So, super excited to have this this book called never ever getting back together we all know why i picked it up because of taylor swift but it looks super interesting in this cover so cute back to cleaning my bookshelf and putting all these books away i have a super random corner of journals and candles and like overflow stuff that's taking up one of the shelves in my bookshelf so i think it's time to go through it so that i can put more books there i'm not going to show you i'm going to spare you the mess but that's what I'm gonna do. That took way longer than I thought it would. I wasn't intending on using my whole day to rearrange my bookshelf, but I think I like the way it turned out. I'll give you a full tour tomorrow, but tonight I'm gonna read, cozy up, and start a new book. I just started The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which has been on my TBR for like three years now, so I'm excited to read it. But we're gonna get all cozy, put on some PJs, It's update time for my bookshelf. I rearranged it since I last showed you, and I think this is how it's gonna stay. Okay, on the top shelf, I have my elites. So I have Magnolia Parks, and then all of my Emily Henry books. I have Seven Year Slip, and then Franny Arietta's poetry book. And then I have The Creative Act because I really want to read this, but I also had nowhere to put it. So this next row starts the color-coded shelves, which are just these two. Literally half of the shelf is the Addicted Calloway series because I think they look cute when they're all together and I wanted them to be on full display. I don't know if I like how it looks with like the two stacks like that. So we have Addicted Calloway and then just a ton of other random books. A few of my faves from this shelf, obviously Love and Other Words and then The Do-Over. This is the pretty version with like the heart sprayed edges and I think it's literally so cute. And then Picking Daisies on Sundays. Then this next shelf, again, just color coded. Some of my faves on this shelf, Better Than the Movies, Carrie Soto's Back, Check and May, Five Survive by Holly Jackson. This next shelf, gives me anxiety because i'm like how many books does it take to make 
a shelf on a bookshelf collapse because sometimes I look at like my shelves and I'm like are they straight or are they bowing and like is everything gonna collapse one day I don't know but that's a problem for future me I'm just hoping it doesn't happen all of my poetry and like kind of non-fiction books are back there and then this is like the rest of my series I have Akatar, only binding 13 because I need to read the rest of them and then like behind that there's powerless I think inheritance games and the naturals is back there then Carval, throne of glass Harry Potter shatter me series crescent city summer i turned pretty and then down here it's kind of a mess so i won't make you look at it too long these are just my hardcover series but i'm trying to decide if i want to make that like only my series hardcovers or if i want to move the other hardcovers that are mixed in with my paperbacks there because i don't have too many and like if you look at this shelf, like Malibu Rising is so tall. I feel like I can move that and put it on this bottom shelf, but I don't know. Anyway, that is my bookshelf currently, but if you've seen my TBR cart, you know how many physical books I have. So I'm like, the second I finish a book, who knows where it's gonna go because it's filled to the brim. This is like just the problem I have. Every time I review my bookshelf, it like works for the time being. And then the second I finish a new book, I'm like, Where's it gonna go? But anyways, that was my bookshelf tour. I have some updates on the book I'm reading right now. I wish I could go back a few years and yell at past me who kept putting off reading this. I'm only on page 98. Tell me why I wanna rate this five stars and I haven't even finished it yet. Like every single quote in here, every single page has something underlined because the writing is so beautiful and I'm just like in love with this book and I wish I had read it sooner. I have the five, six star single happening right now, but I love it so much and I'm like taking my time because I don't want it to end. That's my update. This like has nothing to do with my bookshelf. I just needed to tell you about the book I was reading. <laughs> Thank you.